so I am on my way to Augusta right now. I'm currently running behind. I overslept. I mean, I planned on waking up. I went to bed first of all at like 4 a.m. I planned on waking up at like 5 o'clock at least, and I ended up waking up at 5.45. And thank God my fiance woke me up because if not, Lord. But anyway, guys, so I'm gonna hurry up and rush. It's currently 6.39 right now, and it is a two hour drive. So yeah, I gotta get going. So Godspeed, I will definitely see you guys once I get to Augusta. <laughs> It's exciting, it's exciting going to Augusta. Going to Augusta. Okay, okay, all right. You guys, I'm literally going off of 45 minutes of sleep and I just realized this. This is crazy. So the doors close at 8.50 and the graduation starts at nine. So according to my GPS, um, I was supposed to get there at 9.02, but now it's saying I'm gonna get there at 8.53. So with that being said, I'm really, really hoping that I can get there in time. I've already called her and I let her know, like, you know, running a little late. But either way, if I am running late, then if they do close the doors on me, I'm gonna stay outside and wait for you. And she was like, there's a section that you can sit down and wait in, in um, the chapel. I was like, okay, cool. If I don't make it, that's gonna give me a chance to do a couple things before I get right back on the road, cause y'all know I gotta get right back on the road. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens. Also, my scarf is holding up pretty well. Um, my scarf is holding up pretty well with this edge control, so hopefully by the time I get there, my hair will be laid and flat. Guys, I'm in Augusta right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... I am definitely just reminiscing right now because I'm seeing like Walton Way and I'm seeing um, 13th Street and my GPS is like leading me to 15th Street, which is where Payne is located. Like, y'all, it's the memories for me at this point. I, like, seriously. You guys, this brings back so many memories. Look at the CVS. The Wells Fargo, there's a CVS over there. I don't know if y'all can see. There's a Pizza Hut down there. Me and my friends used to walk this whole street like there's a subway back there we used to walk um down the street all the time oh my god firehouse subs the dollar store y'all this is just so nostalgic for me because pc will always be in my heart dang this is such a long red light i've been sitting at this red light for almost like two minutes but anyway so i'm also going good with time like when i first started off it said i would arrive here at 902 and now it's saying i'm going to be here at 837 so and the doors close at 845 so i think I should make it. I'm a little concerned about parking, but I at think- At the light, turn left. I think I should be good. The destination is on your right. Paint College. Arrive. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at my old dorm. Look, I can't, I can't, I can't. Seriously, guys, this just brings back so many memories. Like, it is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Just driving here. Look at look at these dorms. Wait. Whoa. 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 We all going to the same place. Okay. The dorms still look the same. The dorms have not changed. That's crazy. I can't believe I used to live in these dorms. Like, this is Graham Hall. <laughs> I wonder if they still call it Graham Hall. This was my old dorm, guys. This was the dorm I was, I was a graduating senior in. This was BG. They definitely renovated the dorm for sure. It looks much better. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes. It looks so good. It looks much better than, y'all, the windows used to be, okay, it was a mess. <laughs> Nostalgic memories. Oh my god. You look fabulous. <laughs> I don't want to thank you. Perfect. I made it. I made it. I'm excited. 
this was me. I graduated from Payne five years ago, yesterday, May 7th, 2017. So it feels great to just be back and see everybody. to learn how to hunt. So lions, I encourage you to go out and I encourage you to hunt and I encourage you to have the confidence that you will be great and awesome things will happen to you. Thank you and have an awesome day. <laughs> The little t-shirts for me guys they're so cute look <laughs> ready one two three mr cody in the house <laughs> thank you you look good you look really good violet say hi to my say bye to my vlog man bye oh, wait, yes, okay bye, bye. okay I'm gonna call you okay, when I get home. Safe, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Y'all, look at these Payne College police cars. Guys, they still look the same way like when I first used to attend here. Literally, they still look the same. So, guys, I am back in the car. And I must say, I mean, it just feels like amazing, basically, to be back on campus. Like, it's just great to see everybody. Well, I saw a lot of my older professors, and, you know, I was really, really fond of them really happy to see them so now 
I am going around campus, you know, seeing my old hangout spots, just seeing all the good fun stuff. I'm gonna come through here, let me see. Um, yeah, basically that's what I'm doing. As you guys can see, your girl is like, you know, a little sweaty, sweaty because it's mm, over here, <laughs> like sweating beans over here. Um, I will be on the road soon because I don't want to face traffic, to be quite frank. Um, so I cannot believe I forgot where like a lot of the things are. Like I'm trying to look at the library. Oh my gosh, can you guys see the library? <sighs> Anyways, yeah, so um, look at Epworth. This is my freshman dorm, guys. Can you guys see that? This was the first dorm I ever resided at when I got to Penn College and it's called Epworth Hall, second floor shawty period, if you know, you know. So I'm just gonna give you guys like a mini tour. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Hey Good. This is where most of the classes are held at, right in that building that is called Hey Good. Oh my goodness. So, damn, I wanted to be here when like nobody was here. So, Basically, I saw this video that had him. So I saw this video that had um, this graduate. Basically, she started from um, her elementary school walking in her, walking in her. Um, so basically, she started from elementary school walking in her cap and gown. Started from elementary school, went to middle school, went to high school, went to college, and now her masters so she basically walks across the campus not across the campus but across like a sign that would have the name of the school so being that you know i'm about to graduate i thought that would be like such an amazing idea like to just since i'm here i brought my cap and gown but my plan was to walk across like we have this beautiful um fountain that has paint college like labeled right next to it so i was like okay that'd be that'd be perfect like i could just walk across the campus but I was supposed to do it when nobody's here. Like, that's why I was supposed to come here earlier so I can do it, but that didn't work out. So now there's like a few people here and I know they're gonna be like, what the heck is she doing? Like, why? She don't even go here. Like, why is she wearing a cap and gown and walking across? Like, what? Mind your business, mind your business. I know there's a method to my madness. Like when you see me making art, you probably like, but then when the finished product comes out, you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. See, that's what I do. That's what I do. Y'all, I'm feeling this hair. Oh my gosh, I should've like, I should've showed you guys how I did it. <laughs> Quick weave, baby. Quick weave is nothing but a thing. It's a little sweaty though, so yeah. Guys, it's hot. I'm about to put the AC on. I'ma see if I can wait and see who leaves, but I, they don't look like they are leaving, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna just have to do my cap and gown thing by myself, like I always do. And we're gonna call it a day, and yeah, we're gonna be on the road soon, so. Y'all know I was hungry. So, I stopped at Zaxby's and got me the chicken tenders in a basket of Texas toast. If you know, you know. So, my goal was to eat and drive, but I ended up parking because I needed to send um, a picture to one of my friends and then I just decided to eat my food before I get on the road. Mm. You had the best chicken tenders ever. The last time I had Zaxby's was probably like six or seven months ago. Never ever again will I take a road trip on only like an hour of sleep. Never ever. <sighs> Guys, I'm trying my best to stay awake. Like I'm so tired. My GPS says I have 37 minutes left until I get home. Excuse me. I'm like beyond like beyond tired right now guys i'm so i'm so exhausted i'm just ready to get in bed and i'm thinking about some of the things i have to do when i get home i'm not thinking about none of that i'm not worried about none of that 
when I get home, I'm going to take me a nap. That's what it is. Like my eyes are watery. So I was like, let me talk to you guys for a little bit because I feel myself falling asleep. I'm listening to music. I'm drinking some, um, I got some Fanta. I'm trying to drink that. Nothing's working. I'm just, oh, I'm hot. Let me put this AC on. Y'all, it's just, it's just, Y'all, it's just, ugh. Never ever, like, I'm not gonna force it. If I can't, I can't. But this is crazy, like, I'm so tired. 